Well, about uh, 99% of the taxi drivers know me in Huddersfield. I used to be a taxi driver myself. And then one day a friend of mine came to me and said, Thar, my daughter's run away from home. Can you help me find her? So I did. And that was about five years ago. Somebody's daughter ran away. They say, Thar, this girl's missing. Can you do something about it? Can you bring her back? This is, uh, what you call it, my patch. I work from Huddersfield. Girls running away, they could be anywhere. All over Bradford, Leeds, Halifax, Rochdale, Manchester, Oldham, all these areas. You know, the parents get so desperate for the girls to come back home. You know, like uh, we say, is it the best the masla? You know, they even tell you, no matter, get them, no matter what it takes. You, even if it takes to break their legs or uh, hit them or whatever. But I never hit any girl. I just threaten them, you know. You know by threatening them, you know, they take it in that I might break their legs and beat them up or something. They just come with me. Just take them back home. Shit. Hello? Yeah. Ta hari. These two girls from Sheffield have gone missing. So the brother in law has called me. और पाकिस्तान गई हैं उसके पाकिस्तान 88 में वो पाकिस्तान गई हैं अपने वाले सब की लाश के साथ वो पाकिस्तान गई हैं और वहीं जो है ना उसी की मर्जी के मुताबिक जो उसकी शादी की गई हैं और दोनों मियां बीवी बेहद खुश थे मियां कहाँ हैं उसके मियां उसका इस वक्त पाकिस्तान में है और उसका बकायदा जो है वो जबरदस्ती लिया डर हो सकता है मेनू वापस लाके चला हो सकता मेरे मां बाप जेन भेन भरा मारन गए कुटन गए नहीं इस किस्म के कोई भी ऐसी जो है ना वो मैं अपनी तरफ से पूरी गारंटी देता हूँ कि अगर वो आए और मुझसे रबता कैम करें तो इन शाह तला ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है कि उसका कोई भाई मारेगा उसे या उसकी वालदा क्योंकि वालदा उसकी इतनी बेहद परेशान है वो और इस बात का तो अंदाजा वही कर सकता है जिसपे कुछ गुजरी हो Both sisters, you know. Okay, I think. 
if the girl's friends are at college or something, they're bound to go and see their friends uh, sometimes, you know. Look at the photo there. You can see it. Huh? Huh? I'm going to see Bridget now. Well, quite often I use medium and clairvoyance in my cases. Still hold it with both your hands and yourself. They've both gone away together to get away from the family, it's as simple as that. But not because they want to be away from the family. They want to be away because they don't want to go through the marriages. There's an arranged marriage for this young lady, this one. And uh, she just doesn't want to come back to that sort of thing. Is there a man involved? There's a man involved with a younger girl, you know. But I would definitely say that she isn't stepping out of her culture. You know, she's, she's with somebody, but she's not actually living with anybody. A lot of things I got of this Bridget, you know. The sister who was married, her mother said that she was quite happy in Pakistan. Her husband's not here right now. But this Bridget said she wasn't happy. And she wasn't even happy about the marriage. Now they're pressurizing the other younger sister. Fifty percent of the girls run away with their boyfriends. They'll go and live in hostels. Then when the boyfriends leave them, they just stuck there. So at night, that's when the girls come out. I've got the girl's national insurance number. Now we're going to call a contact of mine. So when we get her, na her national insurance number, we'll get it checked from uh, uh, somebody, you know, and uh, see if she's claiming dole or uh, claiming the benefits or something, you know. And there we'll find out where the dress is. That way we can track her down. How Oh, for the... Kamma Zuri. Yeah. We're going to go to... Uh, uh, maybe Coventry. Coventry, yeah. Oh, right. We'll sort something out. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Well, they dragged me down, actually. Of course, man. I'm putting this Sheffield case aside for two, two, three days. I'm working on a different one now, a Pathan case. Just come in. And my friend Samadhi, he's helping me. 